directly come dancing Judge Craig Revel Horwood has lived up to his no-nonsense reputation by delivering a savage takedown of his co-stars on the show. Branding Motsi Mobuse a diva, and Anton Dubeka a big head, Craig did not hold back in the savage attack. The notoriously outspoken judge, who has been with the BBC show since it started in 2004, also gave away what he described as the real reason his good pal Bruno Tonioli quit. Craig, 57, also weighed in on the sexism row that head judge Shirley Ballas has become engulfed in over the last few weeks. Giving away backstage secrets, Craig said his glamorous co-star Motsi has six people in her dressing room to help with her makeovers for the Saturday Night Live shows. By contrast, Craig complained he is left to sort his own hair and makeup. Craig also joked that newcomer to the judging panel Anton's head has grown so big since he picked up the National Television Award for Best TV Judge this month. Revealing what he believes are the secrets to Anton's success, Craig said, he is definitely the biggest flirt on the show. It's part of his personality darling. Craig also shed some light on the departure of his long-term co-star Bruno who former professional dancer Anton replaced permanently this year. The Aussie star revealed that Bruno was disappointed with how things were handled. He told The Sun, Bruno just wished he had more of a fanfare because it sort of just dwindled out, which is a shame because of Covid. Bruno had been flying between the UK and the States to film back-to-back -back episodes of Strictly and Dancing with the Stars, before choosing to stick with the latter when the pandemic halted his travel. According to Craig, the new arrangement works out for the best as Bruno is much happier living the high life in Los Angeles. He's got a massive set of friends in America, he has a beautiful swimming pool, a beautiful house, he's quite at home there and doesn't miss us at all, he explained. Craig said he wouldn't be tempted to join Bruno across the pond as his style of judging would not work with US audiences. Did get shot. I wouldn't last in the streets there, he teased. Craig's fellow Strictly star Shirley Ballas has herself felt the wrath of BBC viewers this season and came under fire for her alleged sexism. Fans of the show accused Shirley of favoriting the male contestants, and were particularly riled when she said she would have saved Richie Anderson above Fleur East, by contrast to the other judges who opted to send the Radio 2 star home. Defending the head judge, Craig explained, Shirley has a different job to do in the fact that she is specifically like a forewoman. She will base all of her arguments and decisions on technicality. I base mine on artistry, on arms, on telling the stories. We're all four different judges, from different walks of life and entitled to our opinions. I don't think it is sexist. Shirley herself respond to the haters at the time saying, I haven't got a mean bone in my body. I don't have to agree with the panel and they don't have to agree with me, she pledged. Strictly continues on BBC One tonight at 6. 45 p.m. Read more Strictly Come Dancing 2022 Strictly fans complain moments into show Strictly Week 4 leaderboard in full Strictly pros reveal backstage secrets Jade's emotional tribute to late sister.